The same way she want to get on live and tell y'all everything, I'm going to tell y'all stuff too. I'm not taking up for nobody. I'm not picking nobody's side. I'm picking my side. I'm picking Manaya's side. And I'm telling y'all what happened for Manaya for my sake. Let's be very, very real. And I'm pretty sure the producers and all that from the show are on the live at this point. I'm not doing this for no sake of no show. I'm not doing this for this to be a good show. I am doing this for myself. I am 21 years old. No disrespect, but I have a lot of life to live. I have way more opportunities to come, okay? I'm not 40-something, 50-something in my late 30s. This is my last opportunity. I have so many more opportunities to come my way. I don't care. I want it to be a good show, cool, but I'm not doing this for the sake of the show. I don't care what ends up happening. I'm speaking for myself. But I have a lot of stuff already going on, bro. Like, I feel like my brother's not even talking to me because I'm talking to her. And it's like, I completely understand. When you want a way with just that, you're willing to not talk to nobody who's associated to that. And I feel like that's what my brother did to me. I'm not bringing him into this because he don't speak on nothing at all, but I'm just telling y'all. That right there is Manaya. She is the daughter of millionaire coach Stormy Wellington of Miami. She's talking about a recent falling out with her mother. And this is definitely nothing new. It's not really a secret that they don't get along all the time. It's just this time they have more eyeballs looking at them as Stormy is prepping for a reality show on Lifetime. It's gonna be released in a month. And the falling out this time, it has something to do with the reality show as well. Coach Stormy, she raised her kids as a single mother. She had three kids, three different fathers. The father of her youngest child, he wanted to make her an honest woman, so he married her. She was unhappy in that marriage because she thought that her life was too basic. That's what she said, her life was too basic, being married to a pastor. So she got a divorce from the pastor, even though he was trying to clean up her ways. Back in the day, she used to be a stripper. She was used to the fast money Miami lifestyle and being married to a pastor in Atlanta, that was just not good enough for her. So she removed herself away from that lifestyle. She became a millionaire. At the end of 2020, she was up $60 million. And now at the beginning of 22, she's up about $80 million. That's how much she's earned in the last six, seven years. With majority of that money coming in in recent years, Coach Stormy, she invested $5 million with billionaire real estate mogul Grant Cordon. So they've been business partners now and they are working on launching the biggest real estate fund for minority investors. If you're watching from Miami-Dade County, I want to see 305s below in the comments. I'm not talking about South Beach, Collins Avenue. I'm talking about the real Miami. Carroll City, Opelika, North Miami, Lil Haiti, Overtown, South Miami, Hialeah. Go ahead and drop your trail fives below in the comments and let me know you're watching. Take a second to make sure that you are subscribed to this channel. Click that notification bell for all updates. And if you're new, include new subscriber below in the comments and I'm going to try my best to respond to all of you. All right, so Lifetime, they gave Stormy Wellington her own reality show. This is not her first time on reality TV. A very long time ago, she was on a show on BET. And in recent years, you saw her on Beyond the Pole, where she was trying to show strippers another way to make money. Well, now she is going to be the star of her own show. The name of the show is Million Dollar Hustle and it's gonna be out in about a month. It's gonna feature Stormy and a lot of the women on her team, her daughter as well. God is so good because this time it'll be televised. So it's just a matter of time. I think people are starting to realize what they did and how the TV finna show her in. It's a lot of people. Let me tell y'all something. Pray for a lot of people. Wow. A lot of people finna have some real fun. I told these people, when you get on TV, be careful of the character you show the TV because you're gonna have to become that character. So if you become a nasty, evil person on the TV, you're gonna have to live that character. So unfortunately, a lot of people became nasty, evil people because the cameras was rolling. And now they got to be famous being villains and famous acting like something wrong with them because they were so nasty. And I think the reality of the countdown is hitting people. And they're starting to really realize that episode one, episode two is going to be beautiful. And then all of a sudden, you're going to see the real demons come out of us. Like, one thing, y'all, I've been on TV. So I, I was already prepared for this. I share with a lot of people that my biggest depression, Julie, let me say this, I'm gonna, we're gonna move. I was depressed as soon as before. Like very, like I, we all had our bouts with depression, but depression and is scary because you're really not in your right mind. You're really not in your right mind.
Stormy went on IG Live several times to respond to one of her team members, a woman named Boss Lady. She's one of the people who got upset about the way that she was being portrayed on the reality show. Now, it is true that these producers and networks, they know what the audience they want to see. The audience, they're looking for drama. And the reality shows, they're the modern day soap opera. You're younger, the rest is God in light, passions, bold and the beautiful. But in 2022, you have the bold boss chicks, basically, because we're in the era of the boss chick. These producers, they are really good at setting up these high pressure situations. It's kind of like a test. And unfortunately for a lot of the participants, they're already broken, highly emotional. They have temper problems. So when placed in these situations, they usually fail and they go off. When they go off, some of them are then embarrassed by the way that they went off. And that's what Stormy was just talking about. And that was in response to the woman named Boss Lady and a few others. Boss Lady, she's one of the women that Stormy coached to millionaire status. They're trying to say that she didn't have anything when she met Stormy and Stormy helped her. Now, let me tell you something, Stormy. I respect the bitch that she don't like, it, straight up. I don't like her. It's okay, cause you know what? A bitch can have an opinion. And, I, and, 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 with, and with God, God can make you change their mind. And they bow down at your feet and be kissing your toes and you don't know why. But I don't respect the people who play the mind games. That edify you to a mother that don't really know you, but they say, I can't say it. I, I child, I'm not with all that. And that's the boss lady. Yeah, I called her mother name. Cause you know why? I'm tired of mother playing. I told boss at the first meeting I met her too, when she acted loofy and goofy, at that first mother in me, I told boss lady at first watch. I said, check this out. I said, I usually don't have meetings like this. Messing with my friend. I said, you and my friend. I said, but I seen something different in you. But I said, I seen some change in you. What did my friend do to you? And you know what she said? What? No. I said, no, 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 no. You went to talking about her on live in your stories. You made her seem like she was a bad person, an evil person. And she just didn't understand why you did this to her. She didn't understand that she said, you don't know what I do, what I, what I, I don't know what I did to her. And I asked her, I said, you ain't do nothing to her? She told me no. And, and then you tell me the same thing, boss lady. She did not. I said, no, I know she talked slick. Stormy talked slick, stormy mouth like a pistol. It's always uncocked. She told me, Stormy, you did nothing to her. I grabbed the girl by her hands because I almost wanted to slap her. All this confusion you started and she did nothing, baby. She had to say something. Maybe she said something about your children. That's another subject I'm going to get on with her. Maybe she said something about your children. Maybe she said something about your man. Maybe she said something about you. She didn't do none of that. She told me, no, you did none of that. Wow. I touched her hand. Because wow. I liked it, her. I really liked it, boss. Another thing I heard her say is that she came into this business with money. Well, that's a lie. Because you don't remember, I was there when she came to that Airbnb you stayed in in Weston. And she came in that old Ben's truck and that face looked like it could connect the dots. See, if you're going to tell it, tell it all. She had postpartum depression. Mm. Pastor Regina was there without Michael Jackson jacket on. Boss, Pastor Regina assistant. And I and I looked, and, and when you say that was the girl, I say, no, I've been sweating her. That can't be her. You say that's the girl. You heard her on IG? I said, I've been sweating that bitch. I went and showed her where I dimmed her. Because I seen what she was doing, personal development. And I like any lady that's doing something positive in life. I support that. I'm never mad. I don't care what you wear, what you got. I support that. But what I don't support is bull. She told you, she said, I'm suffering from postpartum depression. You said, well, you want to change your life? You want to get some money? What you want to do? I think I can help you. I can change your whole life for you. She looked at you like, for real? I never told me I don't forget nothing. I sit in the back. I went and bagged up in the corner. I sit in the back and I watch every... So for her to get on here and say, you ain't made her and do all this. She came in with money. She ain't look like money that day she came in. She ain't look like money the first three weeks. Let's be clear. See, when you got, I thought she had some money. Because, you know, everybody can filter some shit. See, this is my natural motherfucking face, mother. 
she had to filter that face so good. So when I saw her in person, I didn't think that was the same goddamn girl. That was just Stormy Wellington and one of her close friends, Portia. Portia's also from Miami. She's been friends with Stormy for decades. She's probably about 49 years old. I believe she's still married and she made one point here. When people get around Stormy, they make money. That's the reason why she's able to be in the rooms with the multimillionaires and the billionaires because there's no doubt about it, Stormy makes money. Stormy's gonna make money for herself and everybody around her. She has a ninth grade education, but people, they listen to her and they're drawn to her because of the results that she produce. She has a very bad attitude. Her communication is very aggressive. And when people meet her, they usually don't like her. In fact, most of the people that surround her, they're making money with her somehow. Either they're a business partner or an employee. And she has a lot of employees. So it's possible that Stormy didn't really do anything directly to Boss Lady. Boss Lady probably never liked her disposition from the time she met her. But like a lot of women do, they put up with Stormy until they one, either get enough money to move on, or two, they just get fed up with her toxic behavior and they leave. And by the way, these boss chicks and their friendships with each other is much like their relationships. Just like they can't get along with men, they also can't get along with other women. So the whole female empowerment thing is never really genuine. They meet up for these seminars or these mean girl conferences where they're just rude with each other and competing with each other, all in the name of money. So now you have Boss Lady and some other members on Stormy's team. They have an issue with her. They went out to dinner and they invited Stormy's daughter, her only daughter, Manaya. Manaya, she didn't think it was odd to be around Boss Lady because she often talked to her about Boss Boss Lady's fractured relationship with her own daughter. Manaya, she did not want to go by herself with these women, so she invited Stormy's employee, Trenton, that's her hairstylist. He came along with her. Stormy felt betrayed by them, so she called Trenton the hairstylist. She cursed him out, which he's used to, and then she called her daughter to go off on her too, and she's also used to it. Next thing you know, Trent calling me the next day, basically saying whatever happened with him, my mama, they got snapped. He got snapped on all this other stuff. I don't know. All I know is my mother called me, okay, and she said, um, I just want to be very clear to you or pass the message down to you if nobody else did. Um, you are not to be in my room and you are not to drive my cars or something like that. You're not to be in my room. You're not supposed to drive my cars. And she was like, and I want you to move out. I'm like, I never moved in in the first place. But she was like, like, you know, like basically go. So I was just like, okay. And that's when I text her. So why she kicked me out and told me to leave her house, I do not completely know, okay? I'm assuming it's because I went to the hookah place with them. I don't know. It's your mom though, don't team up with the ops. I'm not teaming up with nobody. I clearly said I didn't pick nobody's side. I'm telling y'all what the fuck happened. And that's how me and her are not talking now. Usually after we get into an argument, I leave her house. I'm the first person to leave. Go back to my house or go get a hotel or go to a friend's house, I leave. This time I did not leave, I stayed. I'm like, okay, we working on our relationship. Let's do something different. Usually you leave, Manaya. Why would you leave this time? So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna stay at the house. Anna even said, Manaya, you need to um, stay at the house. You know, I'm very disappointed in my daughter. I never thought in a million years that my daughter would turn into this person. Like, my kids no principle. You know, we I live my life on honor. You know, I live my life on honor. So to see Manaya doing this, I know that something is going on with Manaya in her mind. For Manaya she's to bitter, show her hope. And she's broken. She's bitter and she's broken. I know what's going on. And she's trying to build something, but she can't build till she come back to the foundation. Mm. And sit down and say, Mama, I got my blueprint, but where do I put my semen and my rocks to build this foundation I want to do? She's trying to figure it out, and she lost. And see, people not going to tell you when you're making a fool of yourself. They'll let you get on Instagram. And, and see, and that's another thing. This everybody's stage. The mother who acting like she don't feed her daughter. Do they know you gave her 20000 November? <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, man. They tell that. See, when they tell a story, they need to tell it all. She got the people slobbing out of my back and she lived like a raccoon or a possum. Wow. My mom, my mom. <laughs> oh my I'm shamed. If she humble herself, shut her mother mouth and say, Mama, what you need me to do, Mama? Mama, I want to get some money with you, Mama. 
ain't nobody showing her how to get none. Since you're so big and so powerful, and you, you know, your friends, they ain't come up with a game plan yet. I'm eating over here good. I'm doing good. So why would I try to do bad? But see, everybody laugh. Everybody want to be down with you. But people really laughing at you saying, she looks stupid as against her old girl. 20 bands, y'all. Since y'all was on a live the other day, 1,700 of you motherfuckers. Yeah, mama gave her 20. Mama ain't gonna talk about it, I'm gonna talk about it. Mama told her, go look for a place. I, she didn't even know the next part that was coming behind it. I'm gonna pay, you ain't gotta take your 20 I gave you. That's really a starter pack. To get you back the way you need to be. But see, you ran off like a rat, talking spicy. You ain't even get your big blessing because it was a big blessing coming for you. But you join forces with somebody say, you know, back in the days, if my mom ain't like somebody, and I went and was friends with that person, my mama was sh she ain't fight. She shoot. Do you know how disrespectful that is? Don't put me in the category of what y'all have going on. Like, that's different. Y'all got business stuff and friend stuff going on. That's a whole different category. I am your daughter. Don't speak on me how you speak on them. Like, that's not cool. That's whack. Like, you don't do that to your child. Y'all keep texting, she loves you, she loves you, she loves you. Yes, that's my mom. I'm sure she loves me. But she got a very, very weird way of showing it. And you sitting over there with people talking about your mama. My mom, my now you got a good mama and a good goddamn. You and Rip paved the way. Can't leave him out. He made him. That man work hard. He stay out of he don't be in people's business. He's a good dude. Can't say nothing bad about our dad. How you acting like you got parents that don't care? When rich people got children and they churning at Luffy and Goofy, they throw their to the wolves and they don't look back. Until you change your mind, that's when you could come back. Stormy, she's very upset about her relationship with her daughter. She's been crying about it, been very upset about all of this that's going on, especially when it got picked up by the blogs. It's very embarrassing and she doesn't like it, considering the fact that she believes that her daughter betrayed her by hanging out with people that was beefing with her. Not to mention, Stormy was taking care of her financially. She just helped her move from LA back to Miami. She gave her $20,000. She told her to go look for a condo wherever she wanted to stay. And what Manaya did not know was that Stormy was gonna pay for it for a whole year up front so she could have the peace of mind to do what she needed to do to make money. I really don't like to see it when parents and their kids, they have these public disputes like 50 Cent and his son. 50 Cent's son was going around hanging out with his enemies. Kirk Franklin and his son, Benzino and his daughter. He even had Dr. Dre who had to cut his daughter off after she went talking about him in the media. And I'm not even gonna show you what Angie Stone did to her adult daughter. You will have to look it up for yourself to see what happened. The reason why Stormy's daughter moved to LA a couple of years ago is that she wanted to get far away from her mother. And she was trying to figure out how to make things happen alone without being with her mom day to day. And dealing with her mom, it often made her sad. Stormy, she not only has an issue with her adult daughter but her son he pretty much stays away from her as well my children are gonna learn honor thy mother and thy father you don't let a holiday come by thanksgiving and christmas and you don't holler at your mama and your granddaddy you now and y'all up there acting like these children children is right that's y'all the mother problem y'all the mother problem talking to these children like they right people need to speak some truth god my mama would have slapped my mama would have came over my house and beat my mother as, as an adult my mama would have came to my house and said, bitch, your mother ass outside. Stormy identifies as a black American woman, but her mother was a Jamaican woman. And side note, boss lady, one of the women that she's having these issues with, she identifies as Jamaican and she can make some really good Jamaican food. And it doesn't matter whether they're Jamaican or American, this is a Western issue. Western women these days are the least desirable women for a reason. It's hard for them to get along with men and it's also hard for them to get along with each other. They're instead being taught to make sure they get education and make sure they get money. And that's majority of them from from the ratchets to the educated and the professionals. 
And Stormy, it looks like she's getting tired of working with some of these black women. She's calling for Asian women and Hispanic women to hit her up because she's trying to work with more of them. Stormy, she loves working with black people and representing black people. But when she gets in situations like this, it discourages her from working with black women. The thing is, the people that she's attracting, they're just like her. They want money, they want fame and attention. Most of them are toxic and they like to hide behind religion, but they don't follow anything that the book says. They walk around with that Jezebel spirit. In her books, Stormy talked about all the things that she learned, a lot of it from her mother. One thing she learned how to do was to hustle. Stormy's mom was a dope dealer. Her mom used to go over to Columbia and bring stuff back from there. She got in trouble with the feds and because of that, Stormy and her brothers, they ended up in group homes and foster care. That's where Stormy's foster mom used to physically abuse her and she also experienced station. She dropped out of school in the ninth grade, became a teenage mom and a stripper. She got into scamming for a bit, but before she can get caught up, she got out, figured out entrepreneurship, and basically she did what her mother did, but legally. Growing up, Stormy's mom called her the B word, and she often gives credit to her mother for her work ethic and her hustle. But her mom passed down a lot of other things to her too. Like her mouth, her tone, the way she talks to people, the reason why no one wants to be around her, even her own kids. What's that over there? See if there's one over there. It's not yours. It's one right there with the strap on. You should be on the couch. Get to me. Please. Cause I gotta get this shape together. I'm about to be 40 years old. I can't be looking like it. I am not 40, lady. Girl, I am not 40. If I was been 40, bitch, you're good. What's good? I'm not no 42, f you. You bitch. Off, bitch. F you, bitch. Look at that shape. What y'all got to say? I got three kids though. What's good? What's good? It's called consistency. Yeah, I had a tummy tuck. See, see the scar. But a bitch fine though. Can take your man. I just don't want him. Ow! I don't want your man. I got my own money and I don't need a tired nigga. Bad attitude, unpleasant to be around, generational curses. Her son, he's figured out his own way, came up with his own app. He has a coaching business and his own gym. Although they live in the same city, he barely comes around. He understands that he can't tolerate her every day or even every month. For Thanksgiving and Christmas, neither one of her adult kids showed up. And unfortunately, she passed down materialism to her daughter. So she's out here trying to figure out how to get what her mother has, who's twice her age. And of course, she's struggling. Her daughter often talks about depression. And if you're going through what she's going through, you definitely want to get therapy for it. So back to the recent, very public fallout that Stormy had with her daughter. Stormy believes that her daughter betrayed her by being friendly with the women who she coached, especially the ones she coached in millionaire status, she was being friendly with those women when those women went online talking negatively about Stormy. And Stormy believed that all of them disrespected her, so she told her daughter to get out of the house. And then she went online, challenging all of them, including her daughter, to figure out how they're going to make money without her. She also told everyone that she wasn't training her daughter anymore. That's when her daughter went on live, she was crying. And meanwhile, Stormy was at the house, dancing with one of her employees really going on and all y'all keep doing is damning me trying to make me feel like i'm a bad person that shit is whack she's good at what she does it's what y'all don't understand this lady is the number one network marketer for a reason she knows what she's doing she knows how to make y'all see things in a way at which you can relate she got people texting me talking about um I don't know what's going on or whatever, but me and my mom is going through something too, and I feel really bad. You don't want to lose your mom. All this other cap, like, yes, I understand that. Her favorite scripture is honor thy mother and thy father so that whatever, your days could be long. Y'all don't think I understand that? I try. At first, I thought it was my fault why our relationship wasn't good. I thought it was me. I thought the inner things that I was dealing with within myself was why me and my mom was not doing good. That's cap. It's not just me, it's her too. When you make certain mistakes, you can pass that down in your bloodline. So you have to be careful with how you live your life and who you choose to mix up your bloodline with. And it's really sad because some of you, you're dealing with situations that came from the choices that your mothers and fathers made. 
The good thing is that the three fathers of her kids, they all have good relationships with them. But the bad part is none of the relationships worked out with Stormy. Those men moved on with wives. And because of that, the home that these kids they grew up in is broken. Stormy is the leader. And since she's been a multimillionaire, she takes care of her father. But Stormy, she's the one who's the head of household. And I'm saying this to say that a man wasn't the head of household. This is why there was no structure. This is why so much disrespect. And this is why a boss chick could have millions and millions of dollars but still have this type of breakdown in their family. So many lessons that people can learn from all of this, but here's one. Money can't buy you peace and attention can't feed your soul. Shout out to Nicole, Andy, Gar, and Dark Power. I appreciate all of you for your support. Want to see more content like this? You can support the channel as well. Links to Cash App and PayPal are below. Ladies, fellas, want to balance analysis, want the truth from a woman's perspective? Then you're going to want to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like and share.